Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, I'm showing some massive secret areas in Prodigy. And not only that, I'm gonna be showing you guys some stuff which you guys probably never noticed in Prodigy before. Right, you heard that right, secret location, stuff which you didn't notice. So let's not skip another beat and hop on straight to it. And another thing which you might be wondering is why am I in Summerfest? Well, over here you guys can see there's a tiny grass patch behind Bounty. Well, what if I told you guys that this grass patch before, you were able to walk on it. You were able to walk on the grass, but now it seems like Prodigy has sealed this off. You can no longer walk on the grass. So yeah, that's just a little quick thing you guys might not have noticed if you, guys, if you guys don't pay attention to Prodigy. And I guess they are saving the environment from stopping people from trampling on the grass. Although I don't really think it's saving the environment too, too much. Also guys, do you ever wonder what the docks here are for? I mean, we do have three different docks, so maybe they'll start making new water islands around here, right? So I know that one of the docks is probably going to Lamp Light Town. But where are the other docks going through? I mean, they could have three different zones here. Well, either way, I'm getting really heavily sidetracked. So now, the next is a thing which you guys probably don't know too often. You guys remember the Prodigy tutorial when you guys left your house and came back? Well, let me tell you guys about that tutorial. Well, if you guys follow it, you guys will see that over here, boom, there's a pathway. This isn't the only pathway there is. Let's head back to Lamp Light Town. Now if you guys head to the very top of Lamp Light Town, you guys will see we have a crossroad which leads us to Firefly Forest, the Academy and some other zone. Now of course from this crosswalk we can't get ourselves to the Academy and stuff but yeah, let's look. Right, so you guys can see we have passage to Firefly Forest and then we have two box crates, right? Prodigy decided to crate off both of these areas. This one used to lead us to the Academy where you guys could actually go to the zone where the, what do you call it, where the pedestal was actually empty. Like, you guys could go there, although you wouldn't be able to place anything. Yeah, you guys could actually see the Academy Bridge over there. But it seems like Prodigy patched up the area, so I'm wondering what they could do. And now over here, this one leads to the Academy, so what does this one lead to, right? If you were to ask me, I'd say that this path might lead to the Dark Tower because it's the closest nearby, right? Yeah, we can go over here, this leads us to the Dark Tower, this up ahead leads to the Academy, so this path logically leads us to, tow to the Dark Tower. Also, wait, 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 hold up, these paths over here show something completely else. It seems like that our house can lead us to, what do you call it, uh, Tower Town, Lamp Light Town, it can lead us to, not the Academy actually, it can lead us to Shiver Chill Mountain, uh, let's see, Skywatch along with, uh, what do you call it, what is this called? along with uh, Bonfire Spire and Dinodic Oasis. So the only place not accessible from our house is well Shipwreck Shore, the Floating Subspace, um, Harmony Island, and Firefly Forest. Ironically, Firefly Forest is not accessible from your wizard's house based on these pathways over here, right? That is kind of crazy, but if that path was to lead somewhere, I'd say it would go over here. And yeah. Now another thing which you may or may not know is that there are codes which get updated every time in Skywatch. So in Skywatch, Prodigy decides to come along and they kind of update the code every once in a while. So let me just quickly go here and show you guys. Wait. Alright guys, so if you look on the pipe over here, right above here where my mouse is around, you guys can see that over there in a little bit of grey is a secret code which Prodigy put in the game. Right guys, so this is just one of the three secret codes which you guys can find, right? Now, the second secret code also happens to take place in Skywatch. So go to Skywatch, and now for this case, what you want to do is you want to head to the side over here, right? So you guys head over here, you want to sneak up past this pet, so go inside, battle the monsters over here and head to the top. Now after heading up, guys, defeat the monster over here and head into the building. Alright, once you battle the monster, you want to click on the door and head inside. Once you head inside, click on the second door and you guys will reach over here. We're all right guys, so once you reach your prodigy, tries becoming sneaky. So if you guys click to the side over here, what you guys will see is the closer you appear, a code appears right over there, right? So you have to become super close in order to see this code over here. Now, in Harmony Island, there are a few things you can do. You can go up the beach over here, which shows you as high as you can go. But you guys will see there's a secret path over there. If you click on the path, you guys will be taken around the side of a mountain and boom new path unlocked right now unfortunately this path doesn't go completely around the island but you guys can see we go all the way up over here and you guys will see we have ourselves a dog now of course this dog is found everywhere around prodigy let me show let me show you guys another place where you can find it all right guys now we're in shipwreck shore so in shipwreck shore it is rumored that there is that dog behind a tree over here 
Although I can't really see it. Now there's another thing which you guys can do. You can go into the whirlpool over here and it looks kind of cool. Not only that, but you guys can also kind of hide over here, which is cool, but yeah. You guys can tell there are not too many secret locations which aren't already noticed in Prodigy. You guys have probably went to the battle arena, right? You go to the arena, and you guys can see there's a gate over here. What happens if you click on the gate? Well, let me show you. Right, you click on the gate, and the gate starts lifting up, allowing you to go further on into Colosseum and battle, right? Yeah, so that is what the gate seems like. It seems like it's a way to get to the battle arena. Yeah, the gate just seems like it's an easy way to get to the battle arena and back without having to click on the leaderboard. Let's see if we can go through. Yeah, it, it seems like we can't actually pass through the gate. Although you guys can tell that the gate... The gate seems like it's an easy way to get past the battle. So you can just look at the board over here and... Yeah, you don't have to click the battle button over here. You can just click the battle button. You can just click the Colosseum gates to go into a battle instead. Right, it seems like I'm almost at the silver tier over here, which I'm pretty excited about. Ah, wow, that is my win to loss ratio. <laughs> How have I lost 161 battles? Someone explain me that. That's my robot's loss ratio, not mine. But anyways guys, that's the first thing which I wanted to show you guys. The arena coliseum gates actually go up. Unfortunately, we can actually not walk through them yet. Although it would be cool if the gates would go up, we can walk through and then we're shown like in battle. Like we can be spectators on a battle. That would be pretty cool, like we could spectate a battle. Although I think that might take some time, like, maybe they could add some com- You know, this looks like a whole new zone where they can actually build it up. Like, over here we can see the leaderboards, but we walk through this, right? We click on it, the gates go up, our wizard goes through, and then we end up in a coliseum where we can choose our opponent. Like, they could choose, like, they could have a completely different style. You'd have your three wizards set across with their pets and their ruins listed below. And you could choose who your opponent is, and the other two would go away. And then the screen would cut to the arena screen like dun 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 dun. Right, yeah, that would be super cool. It means Prodigy can actually do that if they wanted. Yeah. So now, guys, I hope you guys did find this video sort of informational and figured out some secret locations in Prodigy. And hopefully you found the arena one pretty cool. I mean, I did not expect that from the Prodigy arena whatsoever. Right, that one was just completely random. I mean, I thought that the gates might open and lead us to something else. It was kind of anticlimactic, but yeah. Um, I hope you guys found this sort of informational, entertaining, and all of the above. So, if you guys did, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, give this video a humongous thumbs up, and I will be catching you all next time. When Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time.